A large portion of solo development can easily become an unstructured mess, so we're going to talk about some programs and workflows that could help make your art more unique and also help you work more efficiently. Let us first talk a bit about PureRef. There are possibly other programs like it, but this is the one I like and I use. It's a free program where you can store all your references in one big sheet or a mood board. You can just zoom in and out and pan and look at several images at once. So quite often when I make assets, I have to do checks to control that the asset I'm creating is a good fit with the rest of the aesthetic in my game. So I just take all my assets in a scene, or even for my entire game, and then when I draw I can reference my own assets. I can even take the asset I'm painting and press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V and paste it into PureRef, and now I can see them side by side. You will have to place it in your engine eventually, but this can be a quick way to check if they're even close to appropriate. I personally tend to use Pinterest the most if I'm actively searching for references. But I think ArtStation or Reddit can be quite decent places to get inspired as well. Once again, I use PureRef. I just press Windows Shift S. This brings up a print screen cutout. I cut out the image I want, then click on PureRef and press Ctrl V. Now I have a reference there. I also want to talk about some note-taking systems. I use Obsidian now, but I am still migrating from Evernote. The first thing is to save any idea you ever have so that you actually remember whenever you think of something good. Similarly, I also make a note of anything I might want to take a look at in the future, and write why it caught my attention. As I said, I'm still migrating, but I'm planning to link videos of each scene as well, since I often screen record scenes. I'm nowhere close to being at the stage where I check for goals, but I've written down some that I imagine that I might check in the future. The benefit with Obsidian over other systems are according to me that it sits locally on your system, but more than that the ability to link disparate thoughts together, so you can create notes in an unstructured manner the way they come about, but link it together so it doesn't get left to the void afterwards. With that said, you might also use an agile system with something like Asana, or use GitHub for version history and bug reporting. So next I want to cover something that I think is sort of out of left field. Secondhand bookstores. They have really weird but cheap books. With things that you probably wouldn't have imagined was helpful, but often is. Sometimes if you're intending to make an asset, you might type house game art or something like that into Google. But secondhand bookstores have the weirdest of books for quite cheap. Here's a book dedicated to weird architectural details in Barcelona. Here's a similar book on Japanese architecture. Here's a book on similar types of people from different cities. I even have a few books dedicated to flowers, mushrooms, and birds. Obviously for me, they're quite often in Swedish. Sometimes I even encounter books in German that I like, and I don't speak German. You can even get ideas from things that don't even seem relevant, like color palettes or compositions from interior design books or photography books. So sometimes I just pull these out to spark an idea. They're often more fun to get ideas from, because they're so far removed from game art that you actively have to make it your own. I really like getting ideas from sources unrelated to games. It can really help make your game feel original. Think of games like Cuphead, which is by all means extremely derivative, or an homage I guess, but it feels fresh and original because that type of art doesn't really exist in games. So being the right type of derivative is often what we view as original. If you have any interesting approach to gathering references, or regarding your workflow, please tell me. If you'd want to get the feel for what I usually talk about, you can watch this video on how to use and draw tree assets in your game. Thanks for watching. Bye.